Thank you, Sarah. First at five, the numbers tell the story. Voters are engaged. They are turning out in record numbers for this year's election. And that's particularly true in one voting block, young voters. In Texas, the youth vote is up more than 600%. Paul Venema with what some, what some of those voters are saying tonight. Since early voting began, the lines have been long, and they include a growing number of people under the age of 30, many enthusiastic about casting ballots for the first time. I think everyone should go out and vote, even though it might seem like a minor thing and it doesn't count at the end of the day, it does. That's the message college students like Genesis De La Santi are getting, especially from fellow students. I've never seen campus forces organized to such an extent to encourage and facilitate young people, our students, registering and voting. Voting, young voters tell me, because they have concerns that did not exist during the last presidential election. With COVID right now, it's making more people want to go out and do something for the country because we're kind of going through a lot of situations that we want to get taken care of. The pandemic isn't the only concern of young voters. I think there are a lot of other social issues that are much more prevalent now uh, more than ever that I think that young voters are really paying attention to uh, more than they did in the past. The important thing he said is get involved. With everything going on with COVID, it felt like it was really important to make sure that I, I did my part. According to Professor Crockett, young people are simply more aware of the issues. Young voters are more attuned to things like climate change and those issues since they see this as a question that's going to affect their their future. It's hard to say which candidate will benefit most from the youth vote, but one thing is certain, they're involved and they're convinced that their vote will make a difference. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.